someone that she used to be friends with because he used to like her and then they didn't get into a relationship and he got into a relationship with someone oh fuck i'm stuck on the side like it's very confusing and then she's like super mad at him and she doesn't want to talk to him and she hates him and she just keeps like blabbing him out like in my ear and i'm just like okay i'm sorry but that doesn't really matter did I'm i like, swear to god oh that shit only happens in america <laughs> I won't really listen to it, but I'll be like, yeah, or like, you know, if she asks you something, like, that's awful if I'm like, yeah, I know, I can't believe you would do that, that sort of thing. And like, if I, I wouldn't even do that. I, w I don't think I would do that. I don't think if I was just an acquaintance, I would literally just be like, what does it matter? If, even if it was a friend, I think in this particular situation, I would just... I mean, I... I would kind of shut it down. Thing, I, think yeah. the, I think the chance is very low that he's actually only doing it to piss her off. Or to make her jealous of I've, I've tried to yeah. say that, but, you know, this person is very stubborn. It has no significance. The people that irritate me the most are the ones that have the same issue repeatedly. My boyfriend sucks. Blah, blah, blah. My boyfriend sucks again. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking dump him. Just dump him. No, we've been together. Blah, 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 blah. But it sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking dump. Well, I kind of get that though. Like, if you're in a relationship for like three years, it's a little bad. Like, I know, but if it's nothing but complaining at that point, like, you're now. I don't think it's the lost cause fallacy, but whatever it is where you're like, I'm so far into this, I can't give up what I've put in. It's well, like, I think at it's also, some point. It's also hard to say as a friend that I should give advice, because I don't know, but usually... Like, if, for example, if my like, friend is a girlfriend, right? He doesn't want to talk to me about that, give my advice and like, want advance and shit, right? But he doesn't like, come to me every day and say, oh, I had such a great day, so I only get to hear the bad stuff, you know? That's true. So it's hard for me to like, make an actual opinion about how the relationship is if I only hear the bad stuff. No, I agree. It's all situational, but if it's every single fucking day that you hear nothing about the bad stuff, being the outside observer, you kind of don't give a shit about the good stuff. Uh, at, at that point, it even depends too, because it's only one issue and still fixable, you know? If it's like if every day it's the same thing, then even then it's still fixable if they really want to go for it and like get a couple therapy or whatever. Like, well, people, yeah. people usually don't care enough. I know. People don't realize that love is something that you constantly have to work at. People say the honeymoon phase is over and it's like, no, you just stop trying, asshole. Well, there is such a thing as a honeymoon phase, but it's nice to me. I've never... I've never experienced what people describe as the honeymoon phase. Just pro proven that they're in the first three months of, like, be meeting someone you're interested with. Uh, what, uh, like, whatever it's called is, uh... Her body release more definitely. I wonder if it's. And that's that's like uh, it's it's like a nature thing because you, you like when humans are still prime, like primal animals, and one of the like increased gene pools, so it was beneficial for most of them, like females as possible, you know. So. Uh, yeah. I wonder though if it's. We have the release of dopamine because of more sex, or we're having more oh, sex because of the dopamine. Well, they're not really that related. To be fair. When you have sex, you have a release of dopamine. Well, yeah, but there's other ways. Like, it's not just... Just sex. Well, that's true. Oh, fuck. I think a lot of people have a lot of sex because they like having sex. So they don't feel the dopamine. Dude. Not many people only have sex to procreate. <laughs> oh yeah. But it seems as though as time goes on, people's sex lives dwindle. And I don't know if that's... That's such a complicated thing. I wonder if it's like because people no longer... Shit. It's probably because they grow old and then their bones crack. Ah, uh, fuck. Get the fuck out of here. What? It's a valid reason. Dude, even with arthritis, you should be fine. Actually, fuck, no, arthritis would hurt like hell. It's always late, man. 
Yeah, your fingers wow. are gonna get cranked up. Gotta work up. for it. Gotta spice it's gonna get locked jaw. I think, I think why is because it just does the same thing over and over again and it's no longer like new and exciting. So, Change it up. It's like, yeah. Is that, is that the reason why people get so crazy after they have sex? How kinky are we talking here? Are, are people wanting to shit on you or something? Like, what the fuck? Mm, is going on? Into that. I know, I met someone who's into that. Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that and fucking ball toys. Get the fuck out of here. That's your only two, dude. There's some, there's a little worse out there. Like what? Well, that, I don't know. Man. I don't think you can imagine. There's some people who feel like inserting big toes into your butthole. Okay. Well, people do have sex with dead people. Exactly. Okay. Like Besides graffiti. fucking illegal shit like necrophilia. <laughs> necrophilia is a sacrifice. Sorry, but we were talking about the worst kind of shit, and the worst kind of shit is illegal. Exactly, like the guys that VCL us and shit. Excellent. Go to Germany for that one. Apparently they make a lot of bestiality porn. <laughs>